Welcome to Word Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big-time changes to you. And I am Wumi Ademola. Beloved, what is the greatest goal of your life? When you wake up every morning, what is the number one thing that you set out to achieve? Well, the scripture in 2 Corinthians 5, 9, it reveals what your greatest goal in life should be. It says, therefore, we make it our aim, whether present or absent, to be well-pleasing to him. So there you have it. Your greatest goal in life should be to be well-pleasing to God. To hear God your Father say of you, like he said of the Lord Jesus Christ, this is my beloved son or daughter in whom I am well pleased. Because nothing in life matters. Nothing in life matters as much as pleasing God. You're going to notice that not once did God the Father say, this is my beloved son that does a lot of miracles. This is my beloved son that is famous and well known. He didn't say that. He says, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. That tells you that nothing matters to God as much as our ability to please him. And so that should be your goal. Because remember, Revelation, the Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 4, Revelation chapter 4 verse 11, that he created all things, including us, to please him. It says, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. So your number one goal in life should always be to please God. Not just because that's the reason why you are created, but because one day you're going to stand before God who made you. That's what we read in the next verse, verse 10, to give an account of our lives, whether our lives were pleasing to him or not. Verse 10, 2 Corinthians 5 says, we must all appear, all of us, every single one of us, before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Romans 14, 12 also says it. So then, each of us, without exception, shall give account of himself to God. And so on that great day, that great and sober day, when all of humanity, including you, my friend, is going to stand before the God who made you to give an account of your life. You want to hear God say, I am well pleased with you. That's what you want to hear God say, because it's not going to matter how much of a comp how big of a company you built, how much money you made, how famous you became, you became while you were on earth. What's going to matter is, did you please God? So today, let's talk about how to live a life that is always pleasing to God. Our Lord Jesus in John 8, 29, he says, the Father has not left me alone, for I always do those things that please him. So how did Jesus accomplish that? How can we live a life every single day that is well-pleasing to God? Number one, if you want to live a life that is always pleasing to God, you must make up your mind that you will always believe God. You will never doubt him. Beloved, there is nothing that pleases God more than you believe in him. And on the other side, there's nothing that grieves him as much as when you don't believe him. The Bible says in Hebrews eleven six, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, if you don't believe God, it is absolutely impossible. There is no chance that you can please him if you don't believe him. It says, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So God, if you want to please God, always believe him, never doubt him, because God is not a man that he should lie. He's not the son of man that he should repent. If God says something, God will do it. It's absolutely impossible for God to lie. So take God at his every word. Whatever you, he speaks to you, he reveals to you in scripture, believe it. Because nothing pleases him as much as you believe in him. And on the other hand, nothing grieves him as much as you doubt in him. Of the Israelites who kept doubting him over and over again, Psalm 95.10, the Bible says, God said, 40 years long, I was grieved 
with this generation and said, it is the people that do err in their heart and they do, have not known my ways. They err in their heart by doubting me. So number one, always believe God. Secondly, to live a life that's always pleasing to God, like the Lord Jesus Christ, always obey God. That's another thing God is huge on. He is huge on your obedience. In 1 Samuel 15, 22, the prophet Samuel told Saul, who had had this lifestyle, this habit of repeatedly disobeying God. He said to him, what pleases the Lord more, burnt offerings and sacrifices or obeying the Lord. It is better to obey than to offer a sacrifice. It is better to do what God says than to offer the fat of rams. So no act of service, no amount of money you can give as an offering to God pleases him as much as you obeying him and simply doing what he says. Disobedient grieves God. So if you want to always please God, you always want to make up your mind to obey God. Regardless of whether it is convenient for your flesh or not, obey the God who made you. Do what he says. Last but not the least, if you want to live a life that is always pleasing to God, not only must you always believe him, not only must you always obey him, you must always praise and worship him. David in Psalm 34, and the Bible says of David that he was a man after God's own heart. In other words, a man that God was pleased with. David in Psalm 34 verse 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. No matter what happens, his praise will always be in my mouth. And so if you want to live a life that pleases God, always praise God, never complain. I tell you, nothing turns God off as much as complaining and murmuring. But nothing attracts God to a person. His presence, Psalm 22, 3 says, God is enthroned on the praises of his people. And so the Lord says in Psalm 69, verse 30, and I'm going to read 31. The psalmist says, I will praise God's name with a song. I will magnify him with thanks because, listen to this, that is more pleasing to the Lord than an ox more pleasing than a young bull with full horns and hoofs. So if you want to always live a life that's pleasing to God, no matter what's going on around, bless the Lord like David at all times. Don't let any situation, don't let any circumstance, don't let anyone make you stop praising God. Always believe God, always obey him, always praise him. And that way you will live a life that's always pleasing to him. And on the judgment day, when we stand before our Lord, you will not be ashamed. But you will hear the father say to you, this is my beloved son. This is my beloved daughter in whom I am well pleased. Amen. Nothing in life matters as much as that. Thank you so much for watching today, friend. If you've not done so, subscribe and also follow all my social media handles, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Come back next week for another awesome episode of Word Bites. God bless you.